Hey, everybody, Ross on Headset Places has been called Wait on the House. My name is Ross Jackson, and I'm a stage manager. The stage manager is essentially in the driver's seat in terms of driving communication, uh, keeping information universal, and then also implementing and making sure that everything is done by the union. Actors Equity is a union that represents both actors and stage managers, so we are essentially making sure that everything that we do complies with all of the things set forth by the union to make sure that we're sort of operating in best practice, essentially. Once we get into performance, I'm the guy in the booth calling the cues and then maintaining the artistic integrity of the show, making sure that the audience that comes in on a Wednesday night sees the exact same show as the audience that comes in on a Sunday matinee. You walk in for those evening performances and then you sort of take the time to, you know, make sure that everything is in the right place and exactly where the actors are expecting it to be. So you'll see me walking around the stage, sort of making sure, like making little finite adjustments, making sure everything is exactly the same sort of pinpoint way. I'll come in and set up, sort of pre-create my daily call and my show report for the evening. So I'll be sitting there on my computer, getting all that information and everything ready. Then once the cast shows up, if we have a fight call, we're on a fight call on stage, you know, then the real stuff starts happening once you hit half hour, you open up the house and then you make your calls for the cast. And once you get to places, you head to the booth and then you call the show. I would say that the three things, and I'll boil it down to three things for you, that are the most important sort of qualities for a stage manager to have are being able to be flexible and being able to sort of uh, go with the flow. Compassion, understanding that everybody is not just their job description, which we often tend to do within the arts in particular. So having compassion for everybody that's around you and being able to prescribe that to them is very important. Detail orientation as well is very, very important. I mean, being able to catch all of these little changes, you know, there's a ripple effect sometimes that happens with when things change and especially when you're trying to maintain and give the same stage picture from one night to another night, that maintaining the artistic integrity, understanding that detail is very important. I learned to become a stage manager pretty much at the University of Arkansas at Little Rock, which is where I went to my undergrad. Just was really the right thing for me at the right time. And then the craft and the art really built from that. So that all happened for me. The foundation was at the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. And then I really sort of honed in my training and really honed in on my craft at the University of California, Irvine, doing their master's program. And the rest was just field work. <laughs> my first big break, I was fortunate enough to be accepted as a part of the stage management intern team for Wicked on Broadway. And so I had graduated on Saturday and then I flew out on Sunday and I immediately started there and uh, it was just an incredible opportunity to get to learn from some of the best in the business. Always, always, always never be afraid to say I want to be a stage manager, I want to work at this level, I want to be an actor, I want to be a designer, whatever that is, let everybody know what it is that you set forth for yourself that you want to achieve and how you plan to affect other people in doing it because that's got to be, you know, everybody's looking for a purpose so let everybody know what your purpose is so they can help you achieve it.